Hi guys! Wishing you all a very very happy Diwali. I hope you guys are doing well. For people who are new here, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. And thank you for visiting my channel. Uh, as you can see, this look is about Diwali. And this Diwali festival is all about light, love, laughter. Please guys do not burn crackers. Just look like a pataka and it will do the job, you know. So if you like the way I look, please hit the video. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Also guys, whatever, whatever products I've used in the video and on my face, everything will be linked in the description box below. And I hope to see you guys very very soon. Bye bye. Hi. So today I'm going to do the eyes first and the base later because I don't want any fallouts from my eyes to interrupt with my base. So let's get started with the eyes. So for that I'm going to use MAC concealer this is in the shade NC42 and I'm going to apply it all over my eyelids to create a clean canvas to work on and now I'm going to set it by using this setting powder by LA Girl it is in the shade banana yellow I'm going to put it all over my eyelids using this uh, brush this brush is uh, from Real Technique I'm going to link everything down below for you guys Next, I'm going to use this palette by Tarte. I know it looks like a Mithai ka dabba, but it is not. And it's called uh, Hidden Treasures. And it's a beautiful palette. I'm going to use this color. This color is called Emporium. And I'm just going to put it all over my lids on both my eyes. Next, I'm going to use this palette. It's called uh, Young, Wild and Cruelty Free. I'm just using this palette for one color, that is green, because I'm going to wear a green sari, so I want my eyes uh, to be green, like my eye makeup to be green. So I'm going to use this color right here, and I'm just going to take a brush like this. It is a glitter color, so um, I'm going to spray it with a setting spray, so that the color comes on really nice on my eyes. So, just one pump of this. Now the brush is wet. And now I'm going to dip it in this color. It matches my blouse, isn't it? Next, I'm going to use this brown shade here. It's called Cloud 9. And I'm just going to put it in the outer corners of my eye. So with a brush like this. Next, I'm going to use this color. This is, this is also brown. It's a shade of brown. And it is called O. Oh. Yeah, the name is O. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to take this color and I'm again going to put it in the outer corners of my eye. So with the same brush. Next, I'm going to take this green shade right here. It is a bit darker green than I've put on my eyes. And I'm just going to put it in the outer corners just here in this area. I'm not going to take it up, I'm just going to dab it here in the outer corner, just here and that is it. So I'm going to use the same brush that I used for the other green eyeshadow and I'm just going to take a little bit of it and just going to press it here on the outer corners. I'm going to take this black shade, it is called Wayfair. And I'm again going to dab it only in the outer corners of my eye. So I'm going to take a brush like this. Take a little bit of the product. Dust it off. This is how my face looks like right now. And you can see all the fallouts. Here, here and also this is very uneven. So now I'm going to take a wet tissue, wet wipes. This is from Clean and Clear. You can use any wet wipes that you have, or even if you don't have it, just use cotton, dip it in some water or some makeup remover, and you can easily clean this off. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm just gonna wipe it off. So I've put false lashes off camera, and the one that I've used is this one. It is called the Full Volume 3D Lashes, and this is from Miniso. So um, you can find it easily in any of the stores, I guess. So next, uh, now I'm going to start with the base. 
So for the base, now my whole face is clean, I have nothing on my face. So I'm first I'm going to use this uh, aloe vera gel, this is from Face Shop. And I'm going to apply it all over my face and I'm going to massage it well. Next I'm going to moisturize my face using this Clinic Moisture Surge Intense. I have a very dry skin. So this moisturizer is really really good for dry skin. If you don't have a dry skin or even if you have a dry skin and if you have a favorite moisturizer that you use, please continue using that. So I'm going to take this much amount, rub it on my fingers and then just apply it all over my face. Next I'm going to use this primer water. This is from Smashbox and I'm just going to spray it all over my face, excluding my eyes. So I'm just going to hide this area. And I'm gonna let it dry. Next, I'm gonna use primer by Smashbox. This is the photo finish uh, primer. It's primer plus moisturizer, so even better. My skin will be really, really hydrated now. So I'm gonna take two pumps of it, and I'm gonna apply it all over my face, especially this area where I have pores. I'm going to be using this contour cream kit by Anastasia and I'm going to take this color from it and I'm going to start contouring my face before applying foundation or primer or anything else. So I'm just going to take this color on my finger and I'm going to apply it here. Also I'm going to use this orange color, this is a corrector and I'm going to hide my dark circles and this little dye right here. brush like this I'm just gonna blend this out moving on to the next step I'm gonna use this is the anti-pollution foundation I am in the shade true coffee and I'm gonna take one pump like this and I'm going to apply it all over my face using my fingers. Right, I'm going to place dots all over my face. And later I'm going to blend it out using a damp beauty blender. You can use your hand, um, foundation brush, beauty blender, whatever you're comfortable with. Whatever is left from my beauty blender, I'm going to bring it down to my neck. I'm going to use a concealer. This is the LA Pro Concealer. This is such a nice concealer, guys. It is crazy. It is that nice. And for the cost, wow. So I'm just going to squeeze out some product. And here it comes. I'm going to apply it under my eyes. I'm sorry, uh, I'm in the shade medium beige. I always forget to say that. Now I'm going to blend it. Next, I'm going to use this concealer by Smashbox. It is in the shade medium warm golden. And I'm just going to put it under my eyes, forehead, bridge of the nose, cupid's bow, chin, just to brighten up these areas. Because this concealer is one shade lighter than my skin tone, so it's perfect for that brightening effect so I'm just gonna make a wee not a wee but whatever it is and now I'm gonna blend it using the same beauty blender also I'm gonna put it here So next, I am going to use this highlighter stick. This is from Chambord. It is in the shade uh, Bronze Pearl. And I'm going to put it on my cheekbone. Nose. Tip of the nose. And here. Cupid's bow. Chin. And my 
gonna add those and I'm gonna blend it using the same beauty blender next we're gonna set the face and uh, I'm gonna be using this powder from LA girl this is in the shade banana yellow and I'm gonna put it all over my face but I'm just gonna put a little extra under my eyes uh, around my chin area and on the forehead just to brighten up that uh, areas and also before setting the face with powder I'm gonna see if there are any harsh lines or any creases I'm just gonna dab it with a damp beauty blender just to make sure there is no harsh line or no creases now with a brush like this I'm gonna set my under eye area first Next, I will be using this brown shade from here. It is called Camouflage and this is from the same palette, the Young, Wild and Cruelty Free from Tarte. So I'm just going to take a bit of the product on this brush, dust it well and I'm going to apply it on my lower lash line. Next, I'm going to take a black casual pencil. This is from Tarte. You can use any black casual pencil that you have and I'm going to apply it in my waterline. I'm going to use this pencil by Sephora. This is in the shade Glitter Green and the number is 18 and I'm just going to apply it just outside my waterline. The lower lash line is done and now I'm going to dust off all the excess powder that I have on my face. Next I'll be using this bronzer from Bobbi Brown and it is in the shade Deep 4. I'm going to use the same brush that I used earlier. Remember when I applied the cream uh, product, like the cream bronzer. So I'm going to use the powder one now and I'm going to use the same product. So I'm just going to dab it here. Just dab it on my hand and then just apply it. The same place that I applied the cream product. Next I'm going to use this uh, blush palette by Tarte and I'm going to use the shade Dainty from it, this one. Next I'm going to do my brows and I'm going to use this Anastasia Dip Brow Gel. This is in the shade Ebony and I'm going to just follow the shape of my eyebrows and I'm not going to put extra. So I'm just going to brush them out and take a little bit of the product here and then just follow the shape. So eyebrows are done and now I'm just going to put some highlighter and I'm going to be using this highlighter by Becca. It is in the shade Opal. It's kind of broken. So don't judge me. Look at this. I'm just going to take a brush like this and I'm just going to put it I'm also going to put it here. I'm going to put on some lipstick. This is by Huda Beauty. It is in the shade Trophy White. And I'm just going to put it all over my lips. Now I'm going to put some gloss on top. This is by Rimmel. And I'm just going to put a little bit only in the center of my lips. All I have to do is wear my sari and I will just wear it and come back. So here it is. This is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Wishing you all a very, very happy Diwali. Bye-bye. See you all very soon.